Frontier players will now present each of East Hampton seniors with a flower. Congratulations to Olivia Downer. Congratulations to Michelle McDermott. Congratulations to Charlotte Bennigan White. Frontier Softball has three players representing the class of 2019, and today we take this opportunity to say thank you to each of them. It means a lot to me that the rest of the team took so much pleasure in making the signs and decorations and planning today, and they've done a great job. So, class of 19, I've known Caroline and Ariana since you were little seventh graders with baggy pants in the middle school team, both as a coach and as a teacher, and in Kate's case, I've known her since she joined the fifth and sixth grade rec team I coached when she was in the fourth grade. I'm honored to be a varsity coach this year as you reach the conclusion of your high school career. Each of you has taught me something valuable about the game and about life, and each of you has created a lasting impression on all of us as both a teammate and a friend. Caroline Moreau, step forward. <laughs> Caroline works as hard as any player we have. Not only does she do everything a coach could ask, she routinely does the extra work behind the scenes. The team leans on her tremendously and relies on her for consistency and maturity. Caroline had two hits in all of our team's RBIs in our 3-1 win at Mohawk last week. Caroline also is involved in school drama productions, the band, the field hockey team, and I'm personally proud of what she brings to our team and our school. Next year, she will attend Clarkson University and major in mechanical engineering. Civil, Civil engineering. <laughs> Ariana Walker. Ariana is an intensely driven young lady who has shown kindness and leadership on the basketball court, the softball field, and the hallways of Frontier. We are fortunate that Ariana has entered our outfield and captained our team. Just last game, she had three hits against her cousin, who pitches at Mount Greylock and arguably snaps the best catch uh, in the outfield of the year. One of my favorite things about Ariana is that everything is personal for her. She is loyal and cares about everything she does. She improves her teammates and brings passion to the game. Next year, Ariana will bring her talents to the University of New England in Maine and major in environmental science. <laughs> Caitlin Devon. Caitlin picked up the nickname Hoover eight years ago when one of my assistant coaches remarked that she vacuumed up every ground ball hit at her. Kate could not directly help on the field this year due to a knee injury but has given dozens and dozens of volunteer hours as an assistant coach in the JV team. Every team has a need for someone who brings joy, enthusiasm, and happiness to the squad. And Hoover took a, a difficult injury, turned it around, and gave back to her school and her program. Next year, Kate, next year Kate will uh, bring her talent to Wagner University and major in... Study. Physician Assistant Study uh, 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 at Wagner. Thank you very much, Kate. Now we'll call up our uh, seniors. It is picture time. Yeah, parents can come up. East Hampton, you guys can head off to your dead end. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks. Customer-driven networking for your business. Software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted Best Mobile Disc Jockey in the Valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. 
Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Frontier Regional School Softball and Frontier Community Access Television. Today, the final game of the regular season, Senior Day in South Deerfield at Zabeck Field as the Frontier Redhawks take on the East Hampton Eagles. Hi again, everyone. This is Chris Collins along with Alec Geckel and Kevin Murphy as the Hawks take on a very talented East Hampton Eagle team. And I think both of these teams are looking to make their mark in the postseason. And today, Olivia Dean will take the hill for the Frontier Hawks as Olivia will try and uh, shut down what's a pretty good East Hampton lineup. Rachel Robinson will be in the circle for the Eagles and batting cleanup. Starting lineup for the East Hampton Eagles, Abby McLaughlin, the shortstop, leads off. Emma Downer, center fielder, bats second. Lauren Morse third, uh, baseman bats third. Robinson, the pitcher, bats fourth. Crystal Lynn Culver plays left field and bats fifth. Olivia Downer is the catcher, batting sixth. Tessa Pond, second base. Chelsea Indick is at first. Michelle McDermott's the DH, and Mackenzie Bates is in right field. McLaughlin steps in, and Dean offers the first pitch. High and inside, ball one. High and outside, and takes the count 2 and 0. Inside, so McLaughlin's ahead of Dean 3 and 0 to start this game. It's a strike on the inside corner, so the count is now 3 and 1. Inside, ball four. So McLaughlin's aboard on the base on balls. And that brings up the center fielder, Emma Downer. Ball high, McLaughlin inches off first base, threatens to steal but holds. It's a tough strike zone for Dean. Downer is somewhat slight of build. She squares to bunt, and that's ball two. Two and O. Oh. So Olivia Dean in a bit of a jam here in the first inning. Strike on the outside corner. Two and one. Fly ball, center field. And the catch is made by Natalie Denkowitz. One down. And the batter will be third baseman Lauren Morse with, again, McLaughlin on first base, one down. Line drive to right, that's gonna be out of here. Home run for Lauren Boris. And just like that, it's two nothing East Hampton. Two run homer for Morse. So the Eagles jump out ahead, two nil. But that thing got out of here in a hurry. A straight frozen rope to right center field, clears the fence. And the batter will be the pitcher, Rachel Robinson, who will go to the hill with a 2 0 lead or possibly more, depending on what happens here. 
That clears the bases, one out for Robinson. Strike in the inside corner. Nothing in one. That one's low and goes to the backstop. Evens the count at one ball, one strike. Once again, the sun has chosen not to make an appearance today, but luckily the rain has held off for this final home game for the Hawks this season. Ground ball to short. Gobbled up, throw to first. Nice play by the shortstop, Macy Ring. And that'll bring up two outs and Crystal Lynn Culver, the left fielder for East Hampton. Ground ball, foul down the third baseline, nothing in one. Ground ball almost in the same spot. That makes the count 0 and 2. That's the first time I believe that Dean's been ahead of a batter in this game. Fly ball, deep center field, back, back, gone! Crystal Lynn Culver with a solo home run makes it 3 nothing. So East Hampton goes to the long ball twice in the first frame. And the batter will be the catcher, Olivia Downer. Bring a visit to the mound by the coach. <laughs> coach Gary Dean talks with his pitcher and his infielders as the Hawks are in a hole right now. Ball low to Downer. Just on the outside corner. Ball skips out of the mud of Kyla Berniski. One and one the count. Bases are empty for Downer. Two and one. High and inside, that makes the count three and one. Inside, strike two. Runs the count full, three and two to the catcher downer. Ground ball to short. Gobbled up and thrown out by Macy Ring to retire the side. Three runs on two hits, both home runs, and nobody left on. We go to the bottom of the first. It's East Hampton three, Frontier nothing. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. We are at the bottom of the first, and the Red Hawks are in a bit of a hole. They're down 3 0, courtesy of a couple of home runs in that first inning by Lauren Morse and by Crystalyn Culver of East Tampa. The lineup for the Hawks Lily Spencer will lead off. She's the DH. Olivia Dean, the pitcher, bats second. Natalie Denkowitz, center field, bats third. Maddie Fifefield, the first baseman, bats fourth. Ariana Walker in left field, bats fifth. Carolyn Moreau. Second base, 
bat sixth. Macy Ring at short bat seventh. Kyler Beniski, the catcher, bats eighth. And Michaela Santos, right fielder, bats ninth. First pitch, low ball one to Spencer. <coughs> Low on the inside corner, strike one. One and one the count. Ground ball to short. Oh, and a bobble. And that's going to be an error on the shortstop. McLaughlin, as Spencer is aboard, on an error. That'll bring up Olivia Dean, the pitcher. So the Hawks get a bit of a break to start this game. Spencer is the runner at first. Strike one at the knees to Olivia Dean. Rachel Robinson is a fireballer. And that time, a little bit of a change-up, and Dean was out in front of it. And then quickly, it's 0-2. High ball one. Spencer with a big lead off first. Foul tip as Dean stays alive. Again, it looked like Olivia was out in front of that one a bit, too. One and two the count to Olivia Dean. Strike three. Dean goes down swinging. First strikeout of the game by Robinson, and the batter will be Natalie Dinkowitz, the center field. Again, Spencer, the runner on first, courtesy of the error in the infield. Dinkowitz fakes bunt, takes a strike. A nothing in one. Ground ball to third. Nice stop at third. And the ball goes past the first baseman. So it went out of the bounds, so it's a dead ball. That's going to advance Spencer to third base. And I don't know how to give that an error on the first baseman, I think. So two runners on, courtesy of errors, and the batter will be Matty Fifield. The cleanup hitter in the first baseman. So one swing of the bat ties this game. Strike one swinging. Runners at second and third for the Red Hawks. Strike on the inside corner. Makes the count 0 and 2. Hey, Robinson's picking her spots here in the first inning. Not getting much help from the defense, though. Fouled back by Fifield as she stays alive. The count is still 0-2. Again, this is senior day. Final home game for the Hawks as they gear up for the postseason. Pop up, straight back, the catcher under it, and makes the catch. Olivia Downer puts her away, so that brings up two outs, and Ariana Walker, one of the seniors on this team, who's also the left fielder.
strike at the knees on the inside corner. Nothing and one to Walker. Spencer on third. Denkowitz on second. Walker would love to get a hold of one here. Strike two. That one she just blew right by her. No balls, two strikes to Walker. Foul back as Walker stays alive. High and outside. Strike three. And that will end the inning. So no hits, two errors, two left on. And at the end of one inning, still East Hampton three, Frontier nothing. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. Back out here in South Deerfield, and we have a pitching change as Chloe Cutting is now on the mound for Frontier. Facing Tessa Pond, Chelsea Indick, and Michelle McDermott. The three scheduled hitters. For East Hampton. Also appears Lily Spencer is in the game at third base, so we'll try and reset the positions as we go. Ball on outside. Ground ball to third. And a throw to first goes wide. And that's going to be an error on Spencer, who threw it wide. So E5 on that one. And that will put Tessa Pond at second base. The batter will be Chelsea Indek, first baseman, ball low. Deep fly ball to left. Back at the track and the catch is made. Tagging going to third is Tessa Pond, she's safe. It's a good throw by Denkowitz but just could not quite get Pond. So Pond is at third, one down, and the batter is Michelle McDermott, the DH for East Hampton. Okay, that went all the way to the wall. They're gonna, they're gonna appeal at second base, saying Pond may have left early, and the referee or um, umpire calls safe. Cutting deals. Ground ball foul by McDermott. Fly ball, center field. And tagging and going to the plate. The throw and she's out. Double play as Dankowicz with a frozen rope nails Pond at home. And just like that, the side is retired. He played one and a half from South Deerfield at the end of one and a half. It's still East Hampton three, Frontier nothing. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. 
support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business, software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure, extremenetworks.com. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Go to the bottom of the second inning now. Carolyn Moreau, the second baseman, is up to lead off. Moreau, Macy Ring, and Kyler Berniski are the three due up for the Red Hawks. Trail 3-0, but a great way to end that second inning for East Hampton with a fly ball, throw them out, double play. Ball inside to Carolyn Moreau. Inside ball two, two and oh. To the senior, playing her last regular season softball game at home for Frontier. Strike at the knees, two and one the count. Inside, so Morneau is ahead, three and one. Strike three. Some more heat, and Morneau. Actually, that wasn't strike, that wasn't strike two, excuse me. We might get ahead of ourselves. Two strikes now to Carolyn Morneau. That is strike three. That's the third strikeout for Rachel Robinson. And that brings up Macy Ring, the shortstop. Low it inside, ball one to Macy. Foul back, he wins the count, one apiece. straight back and makes the count one and two ground ball foul just fouled on the third baseline. Strike three on the inside corner. So Ring 
Goes down looking. Two down. That brings up Kyla Broniski, the catcher. Strike one swinging. Berniski was way out in front of that one. Strike two. As Robinson is dealing in this second inning. 0-2 to Kyler Berniski. Pop up. Just over second base. That's going to be in for a hit. Oh, and she runs into the first baseman going through. So Bruniski is aboard with a one-out single. That will bring up a courtesy runner coming in for the catcher. And the batter is Kayla Hawkins. The right fielder. <laughs> Two outs, one on for a frontier. And she's going to steal the throw, and she's out. So Kyla Berniski is caught stealing, and that will end the inning. Great throw from the catcher, Olivia Downer. No runs, one hit, one left on. We go to the top of the third. He's to three, Frontier nothing. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. And we go to the top of the third inning. Mackenzie Bates, Abby McLaughlin, and Emma Downer. The nine, one, and two hitters for East Hampton. Still ahead, three, nothing. Again, Chloe Cutting coming on in relief after Olivia Dean gave up the three runs in the first inning. Cutting came in and has done pretty well. Low and inside, ball one. Change up inside, strike one, nice pitch. And he evens the count at one apiece. And that one had some spin on it for sure. Fly ball, deep left field, way back, gone. Home run, Mackenzie Bates, and she got every bit of that one, and it's four nothing. The Mac attack went deep on that one. No doubt where that was headed. That was actually McC McLaughlin, excuse me. That brings up Emma Downer. Ground ball, short, ring to first, out. I'll bring up Lauren Morris, the third baseman. Lauren Morris homered. Her last time up. So the homer was credited to Abby McLaughlin. I got the wrong name there, but it was McLaughlin who nailed that one. She scored two runs and has a homer. Strike one to Lauren Morris, the third baseman. Morris hit a two-run homer to, lead, to start the game off. For her at first at bat in the first inning. Ground ball to third. Bobbled, throw, out. Nice play by Spencer, five to three. And that brings up the pitcher, Rachel Robinson.
Ground ball foul down the third baseline. Nothing and one to Robinson. Dead ball, I was actually fouled off, so nothing in two. Nobody on, two outs. Foul back as Robinson stays alive. Ball in the dirt. One and two. Inside, strike three as Robinson's caught looking. And that will end the inning. One run on one hit. Nobody left on. The end of three and a half. It is now East Hampton four. Frontier, nothing. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. We go to the bottom of the third. Michaela Hawkins, who was at the plate when Kyla Berniski was cut down stealing, will be the hitter. Hawkins, Spencer, and uh, Hawkins, Spencer, and I believe Cutting will be the hitter for Frontier. Ball inside, nothing in one. Robinson's pitched a good game so far. It's four strikeouts. The Hawks' bats have been quiet. The only base runners for Frontier have reached on errors in this game. So, with the exception of Berniski, who had the single. Strike swinging to Hawkins. Strike on the outside corner, evens the count at two apiece. Strike three. As Hawkins is down on strikes, that's the fifth strikeout for Robinson. We go to the top of the order. Lily Spencer, who has moved from DH to third base. Fly ball, deep left field. This is going to hook foul, though. Had the length, but got to straighten that out. Got smoke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very nearly took out the smoker down at the other end. They have a, they have a full barbecue set up going for senior day. So a long strike there for Spencer, who got as far as third base, reached on an error her first time up. Strike. Nothing in two on Lily Spencer. Spencer is able to get a bat on it, stay alive, protecting the plate. Way out in front of that one. Robinson took just enough off of that one to fool Spencer a bit. But she stays alive. Count one and two. Foul 
Foul back. Spencer stays alive. Base hit to left field for Spencer. And she gets that ball right in the hole in between the shortstop and the third baseman. So Spencer's aboard with a single. And the batter is going to be the pitcher, Chloe Cutting. Cutting came in for Olivia Dean, who, as far as I know, is out of the game right now. Now a little conference coming at the mound. like Spencer was taken off on that pitch. On deck is Natalie Denkowitz for Frontier. Ball high. Spencer took off and then pulled back. is even at two and two. Strike three on the inside corner as Cutting is caught looking. And then I'll bring up Denkowitz with two outs. And Spencer at first base. Denkowitz reached on an error on the first baseman, got as far as second her first time up. Strike on the inside corner by Rachel Robinson. 0-1. Foul back. That makes the count 0-2. All inside. That makes the count one and two. Foul. Just got a piece of it. Stay alive. Ball to third, gets through, base hit. And so we have Denkowitz on board with a base hit. Spencer moved to second. And the batter will be Matty Fifield. Fifield flat out to the catcher, her first time up. Maddie. 
So Frontier in a bit of a rally here. Ooh, high pitch just caught part of the bat on Fifield, so that was a, a strike. Even though it was nowhere near the zone. I would have won to Fifield. Strike down the middle. 0 oh 2 to Matty Fifield. Just outside. One and two. Line drive, base hit to left center field. Spencer is in. And an RBI single for Matty Fifield. And Frontier is on the board. It is four to one. So two out rally right now for the Hawks and Ariana Walker's the batter. Ariana Walker struck out first time up. One swing of the bat could tie this uh, softball game. Walker, ground ball to second. Scooped up and thrown out. And that will end the inning. We played three full from South Deerfield at the end of three. It is East Hampton 4, Frontier 1. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. Now we go to the top of the fourth inning. It'll be Culver, Downer, and Pond, the hitters for East Hampton. They lead 4-1, to one, but Frontier got on the board, courtesy of the RBI single by Maddie Fifield. That scored Lily Spencer in the bottom of the third. Chloe Cutting back up in the circle on the relief of Olivia Dean, who pitched a half an inning and left the game. Ball inside to Culver, who homered her first time up. A home run that just got out of here in a hurry. Swing and a miss. Evens the count at one apiece. Fouled off. One and two. Ground ball to short. Gray, the first, out. Good job by Macy Gray to stay with that one. And Culver is retired. Hit that one with authority, but Gray was able to knock it down, keep it in front of her, and throw it out. One out, and the batter is the catcher, Olivia Downer. Olivia Downer grounded out to the shortstop. Gray, her first time up. That pitch was behind Downer. 0 and 1. Ball in the dirt. 2 and 0. Low, ball three, so Downer's ahead on the count, three and oh. Strike at the letters, makes the count three and one.
And it's ball four. So downer is the board for Milwaukee. And the batter will be Tessa Pond. Tessa Pond reached on an error her first time up. Ball high. Ground ball to third. Over to second for the force, back to first, safe. So Downer is out on a fielder's choice. And Pond reaches. So two down. And the batter is Indic, the first baseman. Chelsea flied out to the center fielder. Denkowitz, who's been busy tonight. Line drive, base hit. Down the left field line, just out of the reach of the third baseman, Spencer. So, Indic is aboard with her first hit, single. And Tessa Pond moves up to second base. And the batter is Michelle McDermott. Michelle McDermott was flied out, actually, her first time up to the center fielder. Inside, hit strike one. Curveball, caught the corner. 0 and 1. Again, two outs, two on for East Hampton. They lead 4 to 1. Caught the inside corner again. Nothing in two to McDermott. Line drive, caught by Macy. Ring. To retire the side. Two left on and no runs. Go to the bottom of the fourth. It's East Hampton four, Frontier one. This is Red Ox Softball and Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer driven networking for your business software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted Best Mobile Disc Jockey in the Valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the common in the center of South Deerfield. And we hit the bottom, the bottom of the fourth inning. It'll be Carolyn Moreau, Macy Ring, and Kyla Broniski, the hitters for Frontier. Moreau struck out her first time up. Little sweet Caroline. Kevin Murphy, the executive producer, figured that while they're playing Sweet Caroline. <laughs> All right, Murno steps in against Rachel Robinson, pitching a good game, six strikeouts for East Hampton. And that one is a foul ball. It's coming this way. Megan Self with the play. Ball in the dirt. Next time we're keeping the ball. One and one, the count to Carolyn Moreau. Yeah. 
Ground ball. Coming at me again. <laughs> Alec Echo blocked it again. You blocked it? One and two. Next Keep the ball on the dive. field. Ball low, evens the count at two apiece. Ground ball to second. Scooped up, thrown to first, and out. Nice play by Tessa Pond. So Morneau is retired. Four to three, and that'll bring up Macy Ring, the shortstop. Macy struck out looking her first time up. Ball one low. Macy Rings had a, had a good day in the field. Shortstop made a couple of good plays, including the catch on McDermott's line drive to end that last inning. Fouled back, out of play. Hits the top of the shed. Even the count at one apiece. Line drive caught by the third baseman. That was a screamer, and Morris pulled it in. Two down. That brings up the catcher, Kyla Berniski. Kyla singled her first time up. And got caught stealing. Fouled back. Strike one. Foul back 0 and 2. Ball low. Just inside. Good eye by Berniski. That evens the count. Pop up. Straight back. And, oh! Unable to be played by the catcher, Downer, so Berniski is still alive. Strike three, and that retires the side. That's the seven strikeout for Robinson. We go to the top of the fifth inning. East Hampton four, Frontier one. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. We go to the top of the fifth. It'll be McLaughlin, Downer, and Morsh, the hitters for East Hampton. McLaughlin has walked and homered in this game. And has scored two of the four runs for East Hampton. Chloe cutting on the mound for the Hawks. Low inside ball one. Foul back, evens the count at one apiece. Cutting has done a good job since coming in in relief of Olivia Dean. Held the Hawks to just one run, but they lead four to one. They're scoring three in the top of the first. Ground ball to third. Base hit. 
just out of the reach of the diving Spencer. So McLaughlin's aboard with her second hit of the game. That brings up Emma Downer. Flat out to center field and grounded out to short in her first two times up. And she drops down the bunt foul. McLaughlin will go back to second. Fly ball, foul territory. Walker after it could not quite catch up to it. That's a long strike for Downer, who is behind 0-2. High and outside, one and two. Line drive off the glove of Spencer. And that's gonna be a single for Downer. McLaughlin moves up to second, so back-to-back -back singles for East Hampton. That brings up Lauren Morse who has homered and grounded out to third in this game. Ground ball foul. Strike on the inside corner. One and I uh, two actually for Morse. McLaughlin on first, downer at second. Or rather, McLaughlin at second, downer at first. Line drive, base hit to left. And knocked down by Walker, so the bases are loaded. Three consecutive singles for East Hampton. So the bases are chucked for the pitcher, Robinson who could very much help her own cause and blow it open with a big swing here. Robinson has grounded out to short and has been caught looking and struck out her last time up. Conference on the mound is they're going over strategy. Ground ball player player will probably be at the plate. As you gotta force it all bases. McLaughlin at third, Downer at second, Morse at first, Robinson the pitcher at the plate, and the cleanup hitter. High and outside, ball one. Look for Cutting to keep the ball away from Robinson if at all possible. High and inside, ball two, two and O. Oh. East Hampton up 4-1 looking to open it up here. No outs, bases loaded. Ball three in the dirt. And they're going to score on the run. On the pass ball, McLaughlin scores, and it's 5-1 East Hampton. Everybody moves up. Downer at third, Morris at second. So that takes the force out, out of play. 
for Frontier. And they're going to walk Robinson. So walk Robinson's aboard. So the bases are loaded yet again. That'll bring up Crystalline Culver, the left fielder, who has homered and has grounded out to short in this game. Ground ball, third, foul ball. Still nobody out. Base hit to center field. One run is in. Downer scores and it is now six to one. Bases are still loaded. That is five consecutive, well, actually four out of five batters have reached base on hits here in this inning. And Olivia Downer, the center fielder, is the hitter. She walked her last time up and grounded out to short her first time up. Bases are still loaded. Ball inside low. Ball high. Strike on the outside corner. Ground ball to third, foul. So it's 6-1, East Hampton, bases loaded. And Downer is the hitter. Fly ball to center. Denkowitz makes the catch, and nobody advances. One down for Frontier, or for East Hampton rather, and Tessa Pond is the batter. Tessa reached on an error and was caught on a fielder's choice her last time up. High and outside, ball one. Fouled back, uh-oh. Just missed the truck back there. Base hit to left by Pond. And the throw comes in, that will score Morse. So that's the third run in the inning for East Hampton. And the batter will be Chelsea Indick, the first baseman. We got a quick substitution as going into left field is Michaela Santos. It's a right field, rather. So one out, and the batter is Indic. Flied out to center and singled her last time up. As the big inning continues for East Hampton. We're up 7-1 and looking for more. Strike one to Indic. Foul back. Catches the top of the sh shed again. Okay. 
Six hits this inning for East Hampton. Foul back. Ground ball to short. They're going to go to the plate. Force out at first. The first double play. Six to one to three ends the inning, but it was a big inning for the East Hampton Eagles, and they lead Frontier 7-1. to one. As we go to the bottom of the fifth, this is Red Hawk Softball at Frontier Community Access Television. And we go to the bottom of the fifth, Michaela Santos is the hitter. Michaela, of course, went into right field at the end of that last inning. So it'll be Santos, Spencer, and Cunning, the hitters, for the Hawks, who are in a hole. They trail 7-1. to one With only nine more outs to go. High ball one. Foul back. Evens the count at one apiece. Ball outside, two and one the count. And this is the last regular season home game of the season for the Hawks. Next up is the tournament. Strike down the middle. Pop up. And the third baseman is under it. Makes the catch. Lauren Boris with the put out. That'll bring up Spencer. Who reached on an error her first time up and singled and scored the only run for Frontier. Last inning. Last time up. Spencer Powell is the first pitch back, 0-1. Low ball one, evens the count at one apiece. Pop up in the short right field. That's going to fall in for a hit. So Spencer has her second single of the game. She's two for three. And she's aboard at first. And the batter will be the pitcher. Chloe Cutting. Cutting struck out her last time up. Low and inside, ball one. Strike swinging. Evens the count at one apiece. Yeah. 
Cutting drops down a butt. Foul ball. One and two the count. Ball inside. He gets a count to a piece. Foul back as Spencer stays alive. Excuse me, Cutting stays alive. Spencer's on first. Strike three. Cutting is down on strikes. Two gone. And that brings up Natalie Denkowitz, who reached on an error. Her first time up and singled and made it to third. Her last time at the plate. Ball high. Ball low and inside, makes it 2-0, and oh, the count. Fly ball, right field. And caught by the right fielder, Mackenzie Bates, to retire the side. We played five innings. In South Deerfield, at the end of five, it is East 10th at 7, Frontier 1. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. We go to the top of the sixth inning, and the hitter is Michelle McDermott, the DH. And she laces one to left field foul. A long strike for McDermott, who has flied out to the center fielder and the shortstop. Ball inside. Ground ball, base hit just out of the reach of Spencer. So McDermott's aboard with her first hit. That's a single. And it'll bring up Abby McLaughlin, the shortstop. It's had quite a game. She's homered, she's singled. She reached on a walk and she scored three of East Hampton's seven runs in this game. Inside for a strike. Nothing in one. That one's a little too far inside. Eason's account at one apiece. Fly ball to left. Ariana Walker pulls it in. One out. Batter will be Emma Downer. Downer has flat out to center, has grounded out to the shortstop, and has singled and scored a run in this game. Foul back, strike one. Off the shed again, that shed's taking a beating today. <laughs> Round ball to short. Goes off of ring and it's gonna be a base hit for Downer. That advances McDermott to second. Downer is aboard. And the batter is Lauren Morse, who has homered, 
grounded out and singled and scored two runs in this game for the Eagles. And threatening yet again. Strike one. Fly ball to left, Walker puts it away. Two gone. Here in the sixth, and the batter will be Rachel Robinson, who has struck out, grounded out, and singled her last time up in that big inning. Pop up. And just out of the reach of Spencer, also closing in on that was Macy Ring, but they couldn't quite haul it in. So it's a strike for Robinson. Line drive, just foul. So two strikes on the pitcher, Robinson. Just got out in front of that one. Change up high and outside. As Cutting tried to get Robinson to fish for that one. Didn't happen. Foul back. As Robinson protects the plate and stays alive. Just outside on the outside corner, and that is strike three. So Robinson goes down on strikes. And two runners are stranded. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Still East Hampton seven, Frontier one. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning, and the Red Hawks will have Maddie Fifield, Ariana Walker, and Carolyn Moreau. The hitters. As the Hawks try to cut this deficit, they trail seven to one. And they have six more outs to work with against Rachel Robinson, who's pitched very well for the East Hampton Eagles in this one. Fifefield has singled and has flat out to the catcher. Ball low. Right, right down the middle. One and one to count. Just inside. Two and one to count. Pop up. Just missed Alex Truck. Better luck next time. <laughs> True. Just inside. Byfield swings and misses and is down on strikes. One, out, one, out. one down, and the batter is Ariana Walker. Walker is struck out and has grounded out to second in this game. Strike one. Walker out in front of that one.
fouls back. Makes the count 0 and 2. Walker, base hit up the middle. As Ariana's aboard on senior day. And the batter is, who else? Carolyn Moreau. She has her own walk-up music. Struck out and has grounded out to the second baseman in this game. High ball one. As Walker leads off first. Ariana's got some speed. Would not be surprised to see her try and steal here. Get something going offensively. Ball low. Walker's off to the races. The throw to second. She's safe. So Walker steals second and is in the scoring position. Foul back. As Moreau stays alive. Swing and a miss. As Moreau was behind that one. Two strikes. Foul back. Hits Murphy in the foot. <laughs> Count still even at two and two. Walker at second base. And right down the pipe, strike three. So Morneau is down on strikes, and Macy Ring comes to the plate. Ring has struck out, and has lined out to the third baseman. Ring gets a hold of that one. It's up in front of it, though, and fouls it off. <laughs> and Ring fouls it back. Two strikes now on the shortstop. On deck is Kyla Berniski, the catcher, if Ring can reach. Walker is on second base. Ball high and inside. Side. Two and two to count. <laughs> Did someone say big dog has got to eat? <laughs> That's a new one. And that one ring fouled off her own helmet, I think. It, the ball hit the bat and hit her in the helmet. And that changeup has been very effective for Robinson in this game. She's fooled a couple of 
Red Hawk batters with that. Macy Rings play a solid game in the field defensively. Hasn't quite lit it up at the plate yet, but Walker on second and the pitch. Ground ball to third. Picked up, thrown out. Nice play by Lauren Morris to retire the side. We go to the seventh inning. And at the end of six, it is East Hampton 7, Frontier 1. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. And we go to the top of the seventh inning, East Hampton with a still a 7-1 lead. And Crystalline Culver, the left fielder, is the batter. She is singled, she is homered, and grounded out to shortstop in this one. Short line drive, caught by Macy Ring. For a quick first out. The batter will be Olivia Downer, the catcher. She's flat out to center. And wreaths and a base on balls in this game. Downer, first pitch swinging down the left field line. And it drops in for a hit. So Downer's aboard with a single. And the batter will be Tessa Pond. Pond singled her last time up. Reefs on a fielder's choice and reefs on an error in the first inning. So she's been on board three times. Ball high and outside. Chloe Cutting on the hill for Frontier. Line drive to left, base hit. Walker pulls it in. And so Tessa Pond is aboard. Downer moves up to second base. And the batter will be Chelsea Indick. And first baseman Indick was caught in a 6-1-3 double play to end the last inning and that last big rally. Runners at first and second, and those runners are going to advance to second and third as the ball gets by the catcher, Berniski. So Downer moves to third, and Pond moves to second. So two runners in the scoring position for Indyk, who has singled and flat out to center field, and well, as well as got caught in that double play to end the last inning. Line drive to right field, left field rather, over the head of Walker. And the throw comes in, and taking second is going to be Indic. So Indic with a single and an advance. Downer scores. Pond moves to third, and it's eight to one East Hampton. The batter will be McDermott. One for three, single and flat out twice. Fly ball left field in foul territory. Walker makes the catch. And tagging and going home and safe is Tessa Pond. So Pond scores. That makes it nine to one. And we go back to the top of the order and adding the Claflin for East Hampton. Claflin flat out her last time up. She's walked, homered, and singled. So two for four on the day. She scored three runs for East Hampton. Nice change up, catches the inside corner, strike one. Two on, or one on, two out for East Hampton. Ground ball back to cutting, over to first, and that retires the side. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. It is East Hampton nine, Frontier one. Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. So last licks for Frontier. As we have a pinch hitter, it looks like, for the Red Hawks. It's Mandy Fuller at the plate for Frontier. 
Batting for Berniski, the catcher. Ball low, gets to the backstop. A rare wild pitch for Robinson. He's had pretty good control in this game. Ball low, two and out of Fuller. Michaela Santos is on deck, the right fielder. Ball inside, 3-0 and oh to Fuller. Shown good patience on this at bat. Line drive, base hit up the middle. So Fuller is aboard with a seventh inning single, pinch hit single. Michaela Santos will be the batter. to Santos. Strike one. Photo the runner at first. Santos even on the count at one and one. Two and one now. Ball is inside and low. On deck is Spencer, the third baseman. Swing and a miss. One and two. Strike three right at the letters. So Santos down looking. One down. And Spencer will be the hitter. Cutting on deck for the Hawks. Spencer's had a couple of singles and reached on an error and has scored the only run for Frontier in this game. Ground ball to third. And they'll go to first with it. And Spencer is down. And Fuller advances to second base. And that'll bring up Cutting. Cutting has struck out twice since taking over for Dean in the second inning. Fly ball, right field. And that'll do it. As cutting flies out, and the ball game is over, and the East Hampton Eagles come to Frontier and spoil the party on Senior Day. They beat the Red Hawks by a count of nine to one. That'll do it for our broadcast from Zabeck Field in South Deerfield. For Alec Echo and my executive producer, Kevin Murphy of Frontier Sports, I'm Chris Collins. The final score for the final time, East Hampton nine, Frontier one. Thanks for watching. This has been Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television.